Hello my lovelies and welcome back. Today I'll be playing with the new hair tool, the new GHD. This is their hot round brush or their hot volumizing round brush. This is for effortless volume and this retails for 189 US dollars. Let's try it out. I decided I want to do only one half of my head to see how much volume we can really get because they're advertising this or marketing this from root to tip volume. Let's begin. So what they say is I, I've seen them do a couple of different ways. You can either use it down the brush and kind of wrap your hair around or I saw people actually kind of use it like a, a flat iron in a way where you kind of roll the brush through the hair. So we're first going to try to wrap the hair around and they kind of just hold it there. And then I'm assuming just to kind of unwrap it. Okay. I mean, we definitely got something. I just feel like I have to kind of play with it, you know? To get probably the best volume is probably just to kind of roll the hair. Is that convenient? Not really. Yeah, I feel like, ooh. All right, so the best way to me personally right now is to kind of wrap the hair in and then slowly kind of take it out. But we'll see, maybe I can find a better way to do it. From the get-go, it's a little bit finicky. Just trying to figure out what works best for the hair. I'm gonna try it several different ways and to see what I like better. Cause I also wanna get some kind of wave out of this as well. It's kind of, if I'm doing the way that I'm doing it now, you see how it's kind of creasing it in a really awkward way, especially the top sections. It's not looking really good. So I'm thinking, I need to change this up and play with it. Let me try it like this. The hair doesn't really want to stick in it. Yeah, this is dangerous. I mean, you definitely get a nice curl with that though. You see that? <laughs> I like that you can get nice waves out of this, but it's definitely putting, pulling a lot of my hair out. I don't know if you can tell. I'll just keep saying this, I am postpartum, so my hair is a little bit more prone to pulling out. <laughs> so if I'm using this to curl my hair, I kind of like that. I kind of have to keep playing with it to get the best results, but I'm doing a pretty good job, I would say, for what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna quickly watch one of their videos of how they did it and see what they did. I'm kind of doing it like I would with that curling iron method, you know? Looks very um, finicky, it looks like your hair I would think get stuck. It's, it is kind of getting stuck, so you have to be very careful. But again, it's like, this is, you kind of have to play with it, like to see what works best for your hair. I'm gonna kind of twist it like here to get more volume. So does it at least get close to the roots? Yeah. Yeah, it does actually. That was the one thing I was gonna say. It gets really nice and close to the roots. See, kind of gave it that a little bit of volume right there. Because, because it's got those short little bristles. Exactly, those short nylon bristles. I think they said they were like half, half a millimeter or something like that. Half a centimeter, what did I read? <laughs> but because these bristles are so short, they don't hold the hair as well as I would want it to. Do a little twist. I mean, I like that you can get really nice waves with this though. But because, yeah, I'm like, I just keep pull, pulling out hair that is getting ripped. Just gotta be very gentle. I am, I am struggling with it a little bit because I'm still trying to figure out which way is best. And that's kind of, because I'm not trying to get the waves that are going towards my face because I can do this 
I can just literally wrap it, kind of how they did it in one of the videos. But then you gotta unwind and that's, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, in my opinion, the best method is to do like that, that kind of like the technique to keep twisting it just because you get these really weird transitions and I'm not liking that. The best way for me personally right now is this right here. Do a little twist, make sure the hair is on there. Man, I'm really struggling with this tool. I don't know why. Cause I feel like I have an idea of what I wanna do, but it's kind of working against me, if that makes sense. <laughs> You don't look like you have like a lot of volume though. Well, because I'm not really doing the volume way, just because I don't like the transition that it gives. But this is what we look like. Honestly, it's actually pretty quick, but because I was kind of playing around with it, trying to learn which way it was gonna be best, it took a little bit longer, but once you get the hang of it, I mean, obviously you get a lot more volume just because the hair is textured now and it's wavy and there's some kind of I don't know, some kind of body happening instead of just having like flat hair. I mean, I think I I do a much better job with the curling iron because I can get it a lot more consistent and it doesn't look so frizzy. Let me see, actually I want to see something. All right, let's see, does it look like I have more volume? <laughs> yeah, it does. What do you think of it, babe? I think a curling iron, curling iron does a better job. Yeah. I mean, there's other tools that that are already out there also. Yeah, for example, we have this one right here. This one's by Silkvia. It's a tangle-free curling iron, and this one has the retractable bristles as well. But the thing is, the wand is a lot bigger than this one right here in comparison and the bristles are a lot further apart, and like I said, they're retractable. Like, you can literally take them out. So when you curl your hair, you can have it with the bristles open so the hair will stay in place, it's like a wand, but then once you're ready to let go, you retract the bristles and the hair falls out. This is the Extava. This is also has barrels on the sides, but it also is like a flat iron. So a flat iron and a curling wand in one, but with the bristles on the side, not barrels, bristles on the side. So there's already these types on the market, but I think, yeah. Do I think this is worth $189? It's good. I like that it heats the hair very evenly. I like the packaging. I like that it's very slim and I like that the barrel size, it's not super wide and big for people that have shorter hair. I think you might really enjoy this. And another way that they recommend to do this is literally to kind of like wrap it around and create kind of like those like old school Hollywood waves kind of like going towards your face. You could definitely do that, but I prefer something like this. And I think it actually looks pretty good. So there's, you know, different ways you could definitely use this tool. But doing something like this, and just very gently bringing it down. Something like that. You know what I mean? Like you see, you can create a really beautiful wave. And again, and I have to be mindful of where I start with this tool. So I wanna start more towards the bottom and kind of make him a way up. There we go. This side will definitely give you a lot more volume. This is more of like that, like blown out look instead of like beachy waves. Starting it towards the bottom. Don't wrap it all the way around and just kind of making my way down the hair. Very gently. I think if this is the only tool you'll use, you might really enjoy it. And if you have shorter hair, because I think this will work best on medium to short, like medium to shorter hair. For longer hair, it's just too much. Yeah, for longer hair, you're definitely this is gonna take way too much time and the hair is gonna get stuck in the bristles. You can definitely make it work by manipulating the hair around, 
but Starting it towards the bottom. Don't wrap it all the way around. I'm just kind of making my way down the hair. Very gently. chunks. Be very careful with those. Yeah, sometimes tools, it's like a lot of trial and error. Just seeing what works best. Yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to go underneath. That's how we get stuck. But going back, Just talking to myself, you guys. <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to show you guys a difference of the style you can get from this tool. So this method right here, it doesn't really stretch out your hair as much as this one because we really literally stretched my hair out. This one gives more of like those bouncy waves. And I feel like this side you get a lot more volume. And then I would go in with like some like touchable hairspray that you can still touch your hair, but it will kind of keep that balance and that volume versus this right here. This is a little bit more, you know, like beachy, a little more natural, it has like a couple of bends in there and the hair still kind of kept its length versus this really kind of brought up the length and it kind of has the volume is like all sitting right here. I think with this tool, I actually prefer the left side because the hair doesn't look super frizzy. It looks very bouncy and it looks healthy versus this side, it looks a little, it looks a little dry. It <laughs> doesn't have as much movement versus this side right here. So yeah, I definitely prefer the little bit more, the voluminous look. Which side do you prefer? Oh, uh... The left? Yeah. I'm gonna redo this side. Okay, so there you guys have it. I'll keep saying it keeps pulling out my hair. I, have, I don't know how many times I already cleaned this. Anja will get a nice close up for you guys. And it's pretty much where the hair gets wrapped around underneath itself. So it really wants to pull the hair out. So you have to be very gentle. Sometimes I had to unroll it and re-roll it. So there's a little bit of finessing to make sure you get the best results without basically ruining your hair. But I think it did a really good job for what it did. I think it did a really beautiful job. Ooh, excuse me, a beautiful job. And I'm quite happy with the results. I like that my hair doesn't look frizzy anymore. It just looks very bouncy, very voluminous, very full of life and body. And just, I mean, look at that. That's beautiful. Please let me know if you have tried something like this or if you're curious to try something like this. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.